You want it all, oh, but you oh, can't have it. Fear. You're such a good fear. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Gamora? All right, last Gamora. question. Gamora, <laughs> shut up, Polter. No, rien de rien. No, je ne regrette rien. With the release of Guardians of the Galaxy, fans and critics alike have favored this film and some have said that it is as good as Endgame was and one of the best films Marvel has ever made. It's the cutest, Baby Rocket or Baby Groot. Oof, gosh. Oh. Rocket. Okay. Karen gets Rocket? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, I mean, I don't have a choice. Uh, rocket. Baby Rocket. All right, you get Rocket then. We see Peter Quill still grieving about Gamora, but still having the responsibility to defend the universe and protect one of his own, and makes a stake of him needing to accomplish this mission. Otherwise, it could lead to the end of the Guardians. Today, we'll be looking at the funny moments when it comes to the games that the cast has played in promotion of this film. What is the name of Peter Quill's mother? Oh my gosh. And I know, I know Laura who plays, I know the actress who plays. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I Meredith. Know. Yes. Okay, I you didn't just think like... I knew, but it was in there. It rhymes with sh Meredith. Is it Meredith? Wow. <laughs> yeah, you knew it, that's a point. <laughs> but before we get into more of these moments, some trivia for you. What other person was responsible for the writing of the first Guardians of the Galaxy film, even though her script was scrapped by Gunn? Leave your guesses in the comments down below and stick around to the end of the video to find out if your answer was correct. Which one of these actors makes their MCU debut in Captain America The Winter Soldier in 2014? All that. It did, right? So they were teeing up Avengers. Yeah, they weren't teeing up Mr. Doctor Strange. Yeah, so I'm, I think it is it's Elizabeth. Elizabeth. I think Elizabeth. it is Elizabeth. Okay, okay. It's Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Should we just do it? Yeah. yeah. All right, if we get it wrong, it's James. Three, two, Paul. one, go! Yes! 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 First, we can enjoy Palm Clementine and Karen try to interpret French and British slang. Tum. Ton. Oh, cette meuf, cette fille, c'est un ton. Trust me in the face region. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's tuna. It's just, you say, oh, you disgust me like a fish. No, it's like someone is ugly. You say it's a, it's, it's a tuna. And interestingly enough, which I didn't know they did this with some films, but it actually does make sense. James Gunn shared a brief clip of Karen Gillian having to carry a body scan of Chris Pratt, which I guess they replicated and made only to be 35 pounds, so it would be easy to hold and carry for a while. There you go. Slower. slower go slower with it, but here, I'll show you. Jeez. Grab underneath his arm and this part of his elbow here. Oh my god, my poor wife! My poor wife! This is what she has to deal with every night when she goes to bed? Oh god! Oh god! This is terrible on my self-esteem. Like, this is... Even if it dips slightly into the uncanny valley, it's certainly impressive to see this Peter Quill variant in action. That is so... I can't even touch this. Yes, you have to carry it. Touch this. <gasps> okay. All right, here now, we go. Now, get the, get the, feel the weight of it. It's light. See? It's... See how you do. Oh my god, it's so you cool. You have no funny experience? <laughs> <laughs> this is what it would feel like. <laughs> now, you carry her hair in you. How does that feel? Yeah, walk with it. Walk towards me, Karen. Is that that's my pro real proportions? That's, that's what I look like. That's you. That's the scan we did. It still speaks to the wildly talented VFX teams that work with Marvel Studios, and when you see this, it just makes it look so real and kind of scary looking, but interesting to see nonetheless. Pretty great. Of course, yeah, of course. Yeah. How you doing? Nice to I'm see good. you. Good to see you. Of course, I remember. But this is. <laughs> well, well, that answers that question. If you can. Have. And speaking of Karen and Chris Pratt, we can enjoy them answer some questions during a game of Spilling the Tea. Spill about one of the Guardians who isn't here. Oh my god. Okay, where to even begin? Oh my god. Uh, Sean Gunn has six nipples. And nine toes. <laughs> yeah. Like a puppy. Oh, Amazing. We can even see them and the rest of the cast react to IGN comments. Absolutely right. There you go. I like that one. For a second, I thought, as in this, remember Stars is not your mum. <laughs> That's not your mum's account. Brackets, <laughs> he, I, for a second I thought it was, your mum had written, written that. Oh, right. You I got my very mom. excited for a minute. <laughs> 
We also wanted to give a shout out to our DC Thursday winner. If you guys didn't know, we ask a challenging DC related trivia question over on our community tab. If you answer it correct, you get a chance to have your answer featured here in one of our videos. Munawar Jamal said, wait till he finds out the other actors are getting paid. <laughs> um, that's funny. Post it. They once visited Korea to promote the film and had a bit of fun responding to some theories about what could happen in the film. And I think it represents me. I'm spring, but also ah, tiger. Yes. I'm and kind of apple. Kind of like an apple. Yeah. <laughs> Shiny <laughs> on the a outside. Nice you want to take a nice big bite? <laughs> And sweet and juicy. Too. Sweet and juicy. Sweet and juicy. <laughs> yeah, sure. This installment of the franchise was always meant to be the last, and supposedly, James is done with Marvel and has since headed straight to DC to work on the next Superman film. In 1939. <laughs> uh, what do you think? Which one? Phone a friend. 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 Which Guardians? One? I think it's Guardians. Think it's Guardians. Yeah, it but Guardians was developed, or at least started being developed, in March of 2017. Once he knew for sure that he wanted to continue, of course the reason it had taken so long was because of the incident with him getting fired. But Chris Pratt and Zoe Saldana came to the rescue to convince Marvel to rehire him, and thankfully they did. Gamora tells Star-Lord that his ship is filthy, and he says if you took a blacklight to this place, it would look like a... Oh, I know. Oh, uh, uh, Jackson Pollock. Look at that! Look at that! That is good. That's impressive like, yeah, stuff I right there. Like that's the hilarious. hilarious. On another game show kind of thing, Chris Pratt and James Gunn joined some fans to just all around talk about the film and have a good time. Yeah, how, about, how about your name's J James Gunn? It's James Gunn in Korean, like, Jae Gunn. I'll doubt it. Yeah. Jagagon. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yes. just, just feel it. Just feel yes, it. Jagagon. 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 Yeah, yeah. What does that mean? It doesn't just the name. Don't know nothing. Oh, it's yeah, just yeah, my, yeah, just yeah, my yeah. crazy. Jagagon. Yeah, just Jagagon. Yeah, yeah. And speaking of Zoe Saldana and Chris Pratt, they too have played a game or two, such as testing their friendship, finding out how well they know each other. Left big toe, my hands, or my eyes. <laughs> it's, it's, it's an attractive big toe. God, they're all amazing. I mean, <laughs> that's a toss up. I'm paying him to say that, um, and it's working. We can even enjoy them being asked some interesting questions in who's most likely to. Tom Clemency F or Karen Gillan? Ooh, ruin a take by laughing? I, not me. I don't. I, 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 I pride myself you. on not breaking. I've got a lot of training on Parks and Rec to not break. Uh, probably Tom. Tom, yeah. <laughs> Chris Pratt has had a long history of filmmaking and TV shows at 43 years old, and we wanted to look at his future projects and a possibility of a sequel to the beloved Super Mario Brothers movie. This is from Cuckleberry Finn. <laughs> Cuckle Cuckle Cuckleberry Finn! It's a very Cuckleberry Finn oh thing, my too. James Gunn is going to Who save names themselves Cuckleberry Finn. We can even enjoy some interesting moments when a few of the cast went to Korea once again to create some funny moments. We are better. Yeah, yeah we are better. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's right. We, we agree. Yeah. We're better and funnier. Better and funnier. Yeah. And yeah, oh, yeah, and for now, uh -huh. we're still alive. We're still alive. Yeah. Yeah. We're still alive. <laughs> and we can always notice how close James Gunn and Chris Pratt really are as they are in so many interviews and always seem to make each other laugh one way or another. Who makes James Gunn laugh the most on set? Laugh yeah. at, like, or laugh with. That's your interpretation. Laugh at would definitely be Chris Pratt. Rocket has tried to steal three body parts in the MCU. Uh, tell me one of them. Bonus point, if you can get all three. Bucky's arm, guy's eye and the prisoner's leg. And it's even funnier when the cast take a trivia quiz about their own films and can't remember certain things. Wait, um, is it oh. Soul Stone, Stone, Stone really? Soul Stone, right? no. Mind Stone, Time Stone, no clue. Right. It's Soul or Time? I don't remember. I think it's Asha. And as far as the answer to our trivia question, Guardians of the Galaxy as a project began in 2009 with Nicole Perlman. After a few drafts, the project was passed to Gunn. Gunn has said that he basically threw Perlman's entire script out and started anew, but due to WGA rules, Perlman is still credited alongside Gunn. I can't stop this feeling, but the damn out of me. Yeah, you got it. We'll give you two points. What is this? Hooked Hooked on on a feeling. feeling. Oh my god. Yeah, of course. Green. Hulk. Oh, uh, oh god. Um, mm. 
You can pass. <laughs> I can pass. I'm gonna pass. Right? Pass. Pass. Oh, there's a good clue for that one. Pass. Oh, um, I keep growing uh, limbs. Groot. Yeah. So what do you guys think about all these moments? Which one was your favorite? And what was your favorite moment from the film if you have seen it already? Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications on for more videos just like this. That's it for today though. We'll see you all next time with a brand new video. Bye guys. Nothing goes over my head. My reflexes are, my reflexes are too fast. Sorry, I'm French, so there's an <gasps> emphasis on the syllable. I could catch it. That's 100% yeah. Dave Batista. Dave Batista, one of my favorite lines from the first film, actually. That's so funny. Nothing goes over my head.